Let's get to CBS 13's Madison Keevy with more from a news conference with the mayor about an hour ago. Madison. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. Those were some of the first words spoken today by Sacramento's Mayor Daryl Steinberg. He, he, of course, said that the families of those impacted did deserve that, but that we as a community have to do more. Again, these are all his words. He called gun violence a sickness, and it's not just a Sacramento problem. He made sure to make that very clear. He said this is a problem that is impacting everyone all over the country. And now, with all eyes, on Sacramento. He says it's now the city's time to act, get some answers here. Of course, very emotional from council members and the mayor as well, just of the scope of the crime scene. They didn't really give an update at all about the investigation. They put that towards Sacramento Police Department. This press conference was mostly to get messages out to the public that they are going to do what they can, of course, to make the city safer. He was asked directly if he thought Sacramento was safe. He said he thought it was. And the other big message from this was if you saw something, say something. I know that that is a phrase we hear a lot in crimes, but right now, elected officials and police are really urging the public, since there were many witnesses potentially to this incident last night, to share any photos and videos that they might have that might help police. There's that QR code that you mentioned earlier that's on our website, it's also on social media. And all you have to do is take a picture of that, and you can immediately send any information to Sacramento police. But let's go back to those emotions. I want you to just hear what the mayor and city council members said here today, just, again, hours after the city has really been shut down by this. Thoughts and prayers, of course, are appropriate for the victims and their families and the people who are still uh, who are fighting for their lives now in the hospital. But thoughts and prayers are not nearly enough. We must do more as a city, as a state, and as a nation. This senseless epidemic of gun violence must be addressed. But enough is enough. Enough is enough. And I will travel anywhere I need to travel, and I will talk to whoever I need to talk to to get these guns off these streets and to give our youth what they need so that they can be successful and that they don't get shot down on K Street when they're out trying to have a good time. The council member talked about getting that phone call this morning when she said no elected official, no family member, no friend ever wants to get that there had been a mass shooting in her district. She says she's obviously been awake ever since. You could visibly see those emotions. And city leaders say they're going to be working around the clock to ensure not only that they help police in their investigation, but also to reassure the public that they are safe. I know uh, questions were asked uh, at that news conference about the safety of Sacramento. The mayor asked, like, hey, where was law enforcement last night? Did we have enough people down there? And uh, the mayor seemed to indicate there's nothing you can do to prevent a shooting like this, which is alarming. But in another breath, he said the city is safe. Uh, what other questions were asked there at that news conference? Yeah, right. I mean, that was that was the big one. Last night, there were a lot of events going on, a big concert at Golden One Center. And, you know, the mayor was asked if he was afraid that this might deter other performers or big groups that flocked to Sacramento to come here. He said he was not worried about that, that this was one of those events that you can't predict. As you said, he was also asked by a community activist uh, if the city was going to be working with the victims, those six victims and their fam families, uh, to pay for any funeral services. Uh, he said that they'd be doing what they could. Uh, wasn't specific on that. And, and he was also asked just about what can be done. He talked about the millions of dollars that the city has put into gang prevention efforts, though he did not say that this event has officially been linked to any kind of gang activity. He was talking in general about gun violence. And he was pressed on that of, you know, those millions of dollars don't seem to work if we have six people dead and 12 others injured. He he pushed back and said a lot of this is also going to start with the youth, really getting into those prevention efforts, giving youth places that they can go, outlets and ways that they can work through some of those issues that would then prevent them from ever picking up a gun.